This is a very interesting pair of books right here. Uh, when we set them and look at the covers, the uh, gilt stamps that are used by the publisher for both of these books is the same. This one doesn't have it on the rear, but what we see are the sizes are different and the patterns that are embossed around the edges of the central design are also different. The spines are different as well. Uh, tracery versus uh, floral devices. Um, and But what's even more interesting is this book at the front has two engraved portraits. Here's one, the second. The title page has both works. It's Philadelphia, 1867. All edges are gilt. And as we go through, we'll see that there is further back here another plate which engraved with depicting a rainbow, which is not easy to do actually in black and white, quite effectively done there. And here's another dramatic scene with a lot of atmosphere in it, uh, also steel engraved, signed by the engraver in the plate. So this book is two works together. Now this t book, which has the exact same title there, uh, has at the front this portrait and this different vignette steel engraved image. And it begins with this title page, but it's 1880 Philadelphia by Burlock. And it has a list of these illustrations. So it appears to contain uh, extra work uh, at the front uh, before it continues on and contains then <laughs> Someone has tucked this little albumen photograph in here. This work, which is the same as the other one, these two, but this is 1880 as well, uh, Burlock in Philadelphia, so a different publisher. And what's interesting is here we see one of those portraits used in this position. And so th this pair of bindings is a fascinating example of the evolution of binding styles and publishers and the stamps that were used uh, in the 19th century in Philadelphia. Uh, they are, uh, I think they deserve to stay as a pair like this and uh, they are now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.